Well, now in its 15th year, the Fast and Furious HP 48-hour film competition is set to run from the 25th until the 27th of August. Filmmaking teams have to write, shoot, edit, score and deliver a short film that must include their given genre as well as other elements dictated by the organisers. <laughs> And it's great to have the man here to tell us all about it, Ant Timpson. Morning to you. Yeah, morning. morning, Ant. So this pressure is immense, isn't it? So they, they get told something and you've got to do this and it's got to be in this genre and go. Yeah, I mean, it's, we've had relationships fall apart over the making of these things. It's, it's, a, it's a brutal weekend, um, but it's also a lot of fun for people. But yeah, so they don't really know what they're doing. All they know is that they're making something. They've got to create an entire short film up to five minutes long uh, within a 48 hour period and get it across the finish line, hand it over in time and it's um, it's not as easy as it sounds. It doesn't, it doesn't sound, even sound easy. easy. No, no, and, and people take it really seriously. And can I just say congratulations, it's in its 15th year, that is quite an accomplishment. Which I know. Means people love it. Yeah, no, it's, um, we, we get a lot of new blood coming in, a lot of kids get involved, so there's a lot of schools where it is sort of part of the curriculum, so there's always new entrants coming up into it and then people get a little bit too old, they get kids, and then it's like, I can't do this, I can't spend my whole yeah, weekend making these things. can't find the babysitter things. for the weekend, because yeah. you're up all night, really, aren't they? They essentially are up editing and doing The really good ones have it down to a, a real science, where they don't <laughs> stay up all night, they, they do just amount, the amount they need to do to get it across the line. Okay, maybe my friends aren't the really good ones, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they stayed up all night. Yeah. Um, so people can enter from all across the country now too, can't they? Yeah, you can, you can be on a, on a very isolated farm somewhere and still enter. I don't know how your broadband speed is, but uh, all you really do need is uh, access to a whatever piece of equipment's handy, a phone, uh, and then just to get the film in on time on Sunday night. But yeah, we want anyone to enter. That's the whole goal of it is there's no separation between the pros and mm. the amateurs. And right, and that's what happens. So you have some amateurs enter and you have the experienced people yeah. enter as well. And you've had some big names win as well over the years, haven't you? Or even enter. Yeah, we always trot out Taika Waititi, uh, his name every time. But yeah, he won the uh, Wellington competition many, right. many way back in 2004. And so, you know, there's been... He's been the breakout star of, mm. of the 48. He used to come back just because he loved the exercise of just, you know, goofing off and just having mm. fun, but having those restrictions in place. Right. And I think that's a, a big draw card for a lot of people who, you know, are really sort of um, have a structure in their work life. And then this is a real fun exercise for filmmakers that where they just get a bit of freedom. Can go a little bit loose. Yeah. Um, what's really interesting too is the fact that it must have changed quite dramatically because I guess people were dashing across town when it started 15 years ago yeah. to deliver but now they can just send it in. If you're, if you're within the radius of like what we designate for each centre, like there's eight centres now that run the comp, we want you to turn up because we want you to experience that rush where you have like lines of people all cheering as you race down and hit the finish line without you don't really get the uh. sense of being part of this big collective community <clears throat> unless you really take part like that but if you're too far out of town absolutely we allow you to do a thing where you upload it click send goodbye yeah. right good well that brings yeah. us nicely i guess to last year's winner should we have a look at it time travel yeah. yes okay let's have a quick look at this mr and mrs noble how can i help Okay, so we were on the Titanic, as I was saying, and we were going to stay until we hit the iceberg, but Janice has taken out, I think it's from the Dickie Caviar. We were just hoping if, if it was possible we could leave a bit earlier. How does 12.30 your time sound? Oh yeah, okay, yeah that sounds great, okay. thank you. Let's change that booking, so all you need to do is be at the terminal two hours early. Okay, yeah, ta very much, thank you. So what made that one work? I think the judges really loved how tight the script was and it was a really clever idea that was just executed flawlessly. There was nothing really you could pick it apart. I mean, it was just a great idea, like a time travel set inside one of those um, conference phone lines where someone controls all their trips throughout time and then it suddenly goes, starts going very wrong and horribly dark. And so they, they covered comedy right through to nail-biting suspense. Excellent. So pretty impressive. OK, well, let's take a look at Wellington's winner in 2015. This is Loyal. Let's take a quick look at it. So, me and Jess are over. You know, I, I should have seen it coming. She kept calling me mate, you know, on text, and, and champ, and side bay. She's calling me side bay. You can do way better. You know, I just need to get back in the game. <laughs> Love it. This was a really interesting one where you, it's kind of a massive spoiler alert, but um, it was one of the best twist endings of all time we've seen in the competition, which is hard when you've had 
five thousand shorts made yeah. or whatever it is. Seen so, a few shorts. Yeah, so we're um, very impressed by how that film ended. Um, let's take a look at last year's Wellington winner. Is, this, is it Love X or EXE? Love dot EXE. Love dot yeah. EXE. Now this is it's a full animated short. That's not for the faint-hearted, is it? Let's have a look. Okay, now look, knowing the history of what it's like to do, you know, digital animation. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse what are me. Hours? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no one could believe that these guys pulled it off. The, right. the level of accomplishment was just staggering. Mm. But, you know, they managed to tell a beautiful three minute love story between artificial intelligence that was just note perfect. And, um, yeah, they're just professionals that planned very well to execute Are really good at their jobs too, I would oh, say. Oh yeah, and look, just before we go, final question, I want to know, do you see who makes the movies before you watch them, or do you just watch them and then find out who makes them afterwards? We've got no time to check oh, people's good. backgrounds. Good. No, we've... <laughs> next, next, next. Yeah, bang, let's just watch. Yeah. Hey, thank oh, you so much for coming yeah. in today. Um, you can register now for this year's HP 48 Hour Film Competition. It is bases in main regional centres across the country, but uh, you can it can take out of town as well, as we've just been talking about. Registrations close at midnight this Tuesday. So round up your team and jump onto their website now, 48hours.co.nz.